In this video, we will discuss what's at stake in the race for controller. It can be pronounced both controller and comptroller, but I'm going to go ahead and use controller. The state's controller is Maryland's chief financial officer and accountant. The controller works with state agencies, the General Assembly, and industries to make Maryland's economy work for everyone. The Office of the Comptroller plays a crucial role in ensuring Maryland is supporting financially stable workers and families, growing businesses, and creating thriving communities. The Comptroller's Office collects $16 billion a year in state and local taxes, conducts audits of taxpayers, and provides information technology services for most state agencies. Supported by 1,100 staff and 12 field offices across Maryland, some of the controller's other duties include overseeing tax collection, keeping the state's books, dispersing payments and refunds to counties and municipalities, signing the state's checks, paying contractors doing business for the state, paying state employees, and overseeing some industry regulation. As a steward of the state's finances, the controller serves as a leader on several influential government bodies, including the Board of Revenue Estimates, the Board of Trustees of the State Retirement and Pension System, and the powerful Board of Public Works. The Comptroller, the Governor, and the State Treasurer form the three-member Board of Public Works, the highest administrative body in Maryland state government. The Treasurer is appointed, not elected, which makes the elected role of Comptroller especially important. The Board of Public Works is responsible for reviewing and approving capital projects, procurement contracts, and the acquisition, use, and transfer of state assets. The board is a key decision maker on transit projects and oversees budget actions during the nine months of the year when the legislature is out of session. The controller is elected every four years with no term limits. Peter Franchot, who has been controller since 2006, ran for governor and thus stepped out of the controller role. This year, Democrat Brooke Learman is running against Republican Barry Glassman. As with other races, the campaign websites are linked in the accompanying slides so you can learn more about the candidates and their positions. What's at stake in the Comptroller race? Maryland's financial security and economic well-being are top of the list. Many people have heard about the Board of Public Works in the context of Governor Hogan's efforts to widen I-270 and I-495. You might have heard less about the board's decision-making power over the state budget. For example, in June 2020, the Board of Public Works voted 2-1 to one to cut $413 million from the state budget, slashing funding for universities and community colleges along with many other programs. JUFJ joined AFSME, the union that represents 28,000 state and higher education employees in Maryland, to call on the board not to cut an additional $205 million, which would have impacted pension payments for teachers, subsidies for child care, and rental assistance. Following this advocacy, outgoing Comptroller Fra Peter Franchot voted no instead of yes, and the additional cuts were voted down. The next Comptroller will have tremendous power in their own right and as part of the three-person Board of Public Works. As one of the lesser-known positions on the ballot, with no incumbent for the first time in 16 years, every vote in this race will matter. In the next video, Joe will talk about the General Assembly, which is the Maryland State Legislature.